not fair is that our tremendous labor that we began many years before when he was in middle school <coughs> is attributed to him and leads people to follow his views and reject ours. That's why I work so hard to ask people to please call the system the new slash Linux. You ought to do that just out of fairness to us, to give us at least equal mention since we're the principal developers of the system. We ought to not be left out of the credit. But, you know, credit's not the most important thing in the world. It's not the most important ethical issue in the world. If it were only that, perhaps it would be wiser for me just to let the matter drop. But if you don't give credit to the new project for the technical work that it did for the sake of your freedom, then you're also not giving credit to the ideal of freedom itself. And that's worse than not nice. That's dangerous. Because freedom is frequently threatened. And the only way to keep your freedom is to be prepared to defend it. When people don't defend their freedom, the results can be seen in the United States today, where fundamental freedoms, like the freedom not to be put in prison without a trial, have been taken away by our own leaders who said they were protecting us from some secondary enemies. <clears throat> so we must be prepared to defend our freedom. But in order for people to defend their freedom, they need to value their freedom. And in order to value it, they need to know what it means. In other areas of life, people have been discussing questions of human rights for centuries. There have been centuries for people to think about what human rights are essential and to spread the word. This doesn't mean that human rights are easy to defend. 